Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the Subrace 215. And this is a five inch quadcopter and it's supposed to be competing with some of the light quads out there, the light frames. So this is stating that it's 88 grams, but it's actually around 87. But with the picture as it's stated with this thing, it goes up to 89 grams. So this is pretty light, 87 grams is pretty good. And the overall structural integrity and the amount of carbon used is pretty good. So it's a well balanced, I believe, light quad with some durability but that's all i can say from just looking at it um, once we actually go ahead and take it out for a flight then we can actually go ahead and figure this out so currently let's just take a look now it is a true x and it comes with four millimeter arms and the arms come separate now uh, i really love the in the locking mechanism with the with the self-locking nuts here because uh, these are just absolutely beautiful and this is by far one of the best frames that I've actually was able to tighten down. The hardware was all there, the hardware is very strong, it didn't strip and I tightened the living hell out of it so it was very good. Now let's take a look at the bottom here. As you can see the holes for the screws are actually engraved out so they just hit flush. However there's something else to take note of here. There is no way to mount your battery. So this could be some kind of a top mount in a way but I highly doubt it. But they do provide you with this little PCB thingy here. So as I believe this should not be conductive. And you would probably set this in here like so. And have your battery strap go under that. So this is what I'm thinking that is possible. And you could possibly also set it up as a top mount. But I highly doubt that will be possible because this is so tiny here. Um, another thing to take note of. Every single piece on this frame here is actually 2 millimeter. Whether it's the camera, whether it's the top, whether it's the bottom plate, whether it's the upper bottom plate, everything is two millimeters. The arms are four millimeters, and it is a true X. I've measured it, um, as well as the amount of space you have in here is around twenty-eight millimeters, but not including this. So it's just the complete space. So you'd have to subtract this from the twenty-eight, and then if you put this also, so we could probably say around twenty-five millimeters of actual space in here because you have to leave some room for your battery. <laughs> there's nowhere to put your battery to fly now the mounting solutions for the camera are pretty good as well uh, GoPro mounting solution is going to be kind of difficult to set something up because it's so thin here actually let's go ahead and take a quick measurement um, we'll just take a measurement from right where the camera engraving place stops and around here it's around 37 millimeters and as we go down to here for this engraving it's around 23 millimeters so it is pretty light it is pretty good i guess um it's gonna be a well balanced one that's for sure uh between you know freestyle and being light and i, I am actually liking the looks of this and it seems like it could possibly be a clone of something and if it is just leave it down in the comment section i have no idea what this is a clone of but it looks very familiar to me for some reason but overall i mean the cuts are nice um it's not the cleanest so it'll leave some uh, carbon fiber residue on your hand but you're not cutting yourself anytime soon the cuts are beautiful everything aligns perfect uh, it's overall it's a very nice one i i don't see anything wrong with it however it doesn't come with many things it's just it's pretty basic you know this is all you get right here and uh, it was just like in a couple of anti-static bags i'm pretty sure you guys saw them putting it together uh, but overall it's holding very well all the hardware is there and um to be honest i'm actually kind of excited about this i really don't like building such frames but this one seems like it's going to take a hit because i know myself i'm going to crash and um I will I usually tend to break a lot of motors and a lot of things however you know just you know the price is a bit steep on this guy also so it's, it's $57 so take that into consideration also and um, overall I mean it looks nice um, it's pretty light actually and um, I think it's gonna perform beautiful if you set up the right setup like for this kind of setup I would actually go with some kind of uh, star F 4s and i would go with the racer star 2306 2400 kv or the 2600 kv 2600 kv on such a light frame i think would excel beautiful more than 2400 the 2400 are you know the racer star 2400 kv uh, are rated for a little bit heavier build so you have a little more torque and a little more thrust to push you out there uh, but this one's going to be i think it's going to be a beauty actually to be honest um i'm gonna actually go get it pick it up some uh, 2600 uh, racer star uh, motors now and uh, we're gonna probably be building this guy very soon and for camera we might do probably go complete light setup with that Chinese run cam clone and I do have these 3, 3d printed parts that'll hold it in place so we could get remove these here the camera plates and I think we might have a crazy winner on our hand to be honest I'm actually very looking at it I'm getting very excited 
Another thing what's also giving me more motivation to actually build this one is the fact, you know, it's it's very rare to get such a frame with separate arms that hold in very, very firmly. And, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting loose. And this one, I have never tightened a frame so hard without it stripping or anything as much as I did this one. This one, I just went full blast and I know for sure this is not going anywhere. So that's, that's a huge, huge plus. And so another fact is that everything is two millimeters. So overall, I mean, it's it's very nice. And um, you can go ahead and add this here. As you can see, the screws are protruding up a bit because they're the type of screws to fit in these kinds of engravings. But you can go ahead and replace them with some normal screws. Uh, this was meant here. It, it adds more strength, overall strength. But um, it's about two grams heavier here. So I'm not going to do that. But we will be adding this guy for sure. We need to way to actually mount our battery so and again this might be a top mount it could possibly work as a top mount but i'm not gonna be able to do that because i'm gonna put my gopro up here somehow figure it out overall actually it's, it's a very nice one to be honest um i'm actually yeah i'm very excited for this one to be honest i really like it for some reason i have no idea why so i mean that's all i could really say right now but um we'll be building this guy very very soon uh my my so most of my components are already here, but I'm going to go pick it up some 2600 Racer Star motors. It's going to be a freaking beast. I think the overall total cost of this guy is going to end up being around less than 200 for sure. And it's going to be an absolute screamer. Um, so, yeah. So, well, stay tuned and um, we'll be building this guy very soon. Um, overall, I really can't complain. Slight, beautiful, pretty thick. Looks like take a hole, uh, take a take a hole, take a hit. The holes are pretty well spaced apart from any corners, obviously the edges, but actually even the edges are pretty good here, especially in the front because they didn't engrave it here, so it adds more strength. In the back they did a bit, and it's, it's kind of, let's just see here, it's it's not that bad, um, it's not that bad, but you know, time will tell, uh, everything is 2 millimeters, and it seems like it's some good carbon to go. yeah, wow, yeah, that's very good, that is very good. So this one should be a beauty, hopefully. We'll see how stock beta flight pins will fly on this guy. And we'll give it a proper review. And, well, that's it, guys. So that's going to include it for this video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.